Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all my friends in value all over the world. I'm very proud to open this conference by giving you an overview on the application of the ABE in the manufacturing industry, focusing on my home country and looking a bit beyond as well. My name is Sebastian Meindl from Preland Partner in Germany. I got in touch with the AVE at my studies of mechanical engineering and unbelievable that is already 25 years ago. Since more than 16 years I'm doing consultancy services in the AVE and in my career I can look back on hundreds of projects, workshops and trainings. Regarding this wonderful methodology and beside my professional life, I am active as a volunteer in the VDI, the German Association of Engineers, and currently serving as the Vice President for the VAVE section. Additionally, I'm a member of the SAFE, Society of American Value Engineers, and here I was co-author of the recent published Value Methodology Body of Knowledge, and I'm part of the SAFE strategical planning teams. Today, I would like to give an introduction on the application of the AVE, especially in manufacturing business. So my company, Krelen Partner, feels as one of the leading consultancies in the AVE in Germany. Since 1969, we are active in this field. Today, we are about 15 colleagues active in national and international projects and focused on manufacturing in medium-sized companies. Since a couple of years, we are also starting to apply the ABE in other sectors like construction and infrastructure, but this is still a field where we want to grow. The AVE in Germany is linked to the history of the AVE in the world. The AVE arrived in the 60s of the last century, started with first lectures and courses issued by the German Association of Engineers. Our company was founded in 1969 and was one of the pioneers spreading the AVE in Germany and Europe. Today, we are integrated in the European Association Value for Europe, formerly called European Governing Board, EGB. So here are some historic pictures from the beginning in the late 60s, when Hermann Krehl and Axel Peter Ried founded our company and giving the first courses in the AVE. Mr. Krehl's handwritten schedule shows that he was quite busy at this time and the companies he served are the successful companies of that time. And maybe due to the fact that they applied the AVE, they are successful today as well. After a long time, Mr. Krehl and Mr. Reed, the retired founders of our company, met again at the 2014 International Conference in Stuttgart. Unfortunately, Mr. Reed left us one year later. So, since 1972, the VDI is the home to all the AVE practitioners in Germany. In this sector, we count around 4,000 members. We have an organization for an annual VAVE conference where I am honored to be the host of this Congress. We have quarterly newsletters, develop new methods and describe them in technical guidelines and lots more. Also, the VAVE training and certification is led by the VDI. So this picture shows the structure of the VDI and the VAVE organization highlighted with an orange box. We've got professional help in form of a professional secretary general our highly valued Daniela Hein, I think she's listening today as well. And now you can see all the fields of action which we are providing. First of all, comprehensive tools for all value methodology practitioners, which are the VDI guidelines with a lot of different topics, traditional and with regard to the newest scientific research. The training segment with a huge amount of trained specialists, the communication format, our annual conference, value talks, local events and webinars, and the volunteering leadership team within our division. But now let's have a look into the manufacturing sector in Germany and Europe. The main figures are, beside all structural changes in the recent 30 years, the manufacturing sector is still number two value creator beside the service and way ahead of the agricultural economics. Germany is well known for its car manufacturing industry. But famous are also machinery equipment of nearly all kinds, electric and electronic components, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, and many more. But we should not neglect also the industries of our neighborhood in Benelux, France, Switzerland, Austria, and Italy. 
which are highly developed and have their strength in their special industry sectors as well. The export shares are often larger than 50%, serving customers around the world in the Americas, Middle and Far East. No matter what country the companies are located, they are facing increasing market pressure from global competitors, mainly from the Far East. So in this chart, you see the distribution and the importance of the manufacturing sector, here shown in the yellow segments in this diagram. While the primary sector, so agriculture, is close to invisible, the manufacturing sector is spread all around our country with some emphasis in the very best and the south. In metals production, machinery, electrical industry and vehicle manufacturing, Germany is still among the top three leading in machinery and vehicles. With around 900 billion euro, manufacturing has a large share on the gross domestic product. So that means we are talking about an important sector with lots of value creation and lots of jobs and due to that fact, the wealth of the people. This is really worth to maintain. But not only Germany is important for manufacturing business in Europe, as I already mentioned. Our neighbors have lots of manufacturing companies in very good standing and also here the AVE is applied. Please let me mention also the countries I used to work and I do appreciate their people their products and their companies. Speaking about Italy, I do appreciate their food and wine as well. So here are some of the most famous brands of the German manufacturing industry. And if you ask me if they apply the AVE, I would guess yes in general, but even automotive industry has different approaches to manage cost. Certainly their tier one to tier four suppliers again, are applying the AVE so you can be sure that lots of automotive parts have been optimized by the value methodology. But much more important in terms of value creation in Germany are the medium-sized companies. A lot of them are so-called hidden champions. What means? They are market and or technology leader in their specific field in Germany, Europe and very often in the world. Their brand names are often not well known in the public what makes them the so-called hidden champions. Their size is typically below 3 million euro of annual revenue, in most cases much less, maybe down to 50 million euro per year. But there are just so many and their contribution to the gross domestic product is significant. They are also the main innovators in the manufacturing industry and their main asset are highly skilled technicians with also high methodological expertise. And here's the field where the AVE has its real home. As we learned, these companies are in so good standing, why should they optimize? The answers are clear. To maintain and expand their leadership in markets and technology, to defeat competitors, especially in low price markets, to maintain and expand earnings on the products and the profit of the companies itself to set up product programs for future markets and future customer requirements. Typical project goals are the reduction of manufacturing costs significantly, more than 20% or more, to regain market share back from cheap competitors and to eliminate the waste of the past and innovate the functions of the future. So what is the general approach as we as Krill and Partner apply in our projects in manufacturing industry? First, we have to analyze the markets, the customers and their requirements. Without knowing the customer and his needs, we cannot optimize a product. And then the analysis of the product itself. Get to know everything about the products with its pros and cons. This is typically done with a powerful tool called function analysis combined with function cost analysis. Idea finding, to find as much ideas as possible. Evaluate these ideas regarding the value drivers. For instance, cost, customer benefit, risk, implementation effort, and combine them to reasonable concepts or scenarios. And in the end, a concept is worth nothing. You have to implement the ideas in order to get the benefit. So a typical project structure may look like this. We have the VAVE work plan accompanying the process on the right. We have the project assignee or the sponsor and the team, which meets for the kickoff and the necessary team meetings. Sub-team or single work in between 
until the results are presented and the decision, a decision about the implementation has been made. So from my specific VAVE background, the range of products optimized with VAVE is quite large. The smallest one is that cable holder on the upper left. A serial product, millions of parts per year, not that complex, an injection molding part and only very low cost per piece. And then there is probably the largest one, a hot strip production with rolling mills, furnaces, cooling, coil handling and lots more. Talking about up to one per year, high complex product, lots of various machinery integrated, hydraulics, pneumatics, automation, and the cost of more than 150 million euro per piece. This is the range I personally have worked on in my professional life, but I brought also some examples of my typical work. So here you see a warp knitting device for high quality fabrics like lace and curtain. We achieved a cost reduction of more than 25%. A printing press, especially made for banknote printing with high security features, cost reduction by about 20% achieved. A hot stamping press for heavily loaded automotive body parts, cost reduction by around 20%. Or a programmable logic controller for usage in electrical cabinets, a quick win solution for being profitable immediately and the development of a successor product with increased functionality. A 20 high rolling mill for precise stainless steel strip production. We achieved a cost reduction on the one hand and an increase of customer value by decreasing operational cost. Agricultural machinery for harvesting and feed production also with a significant cost reduction. A high head water turbine, a so-called Pelton turbine for sustainable energy production, also cost reduction of about 15% achieved or a milling machine, especially for woodworking. So we did the planning of the whole product portfolio with cost optimized modules. Now you see a car dynamometer for testing and certification of vehicles, including exhaust gas testing. And we achieved a cost reduction of around 25%. A so-called bellless top charging device for blast furnaces in raw iron production, cost reduction by around 20%. An environment simulation device for automotive testing, cost reduction by about 15%. Or a professional cooking device called Combi Damper for all professional kitchen applications. We had done a development of a new product portfolio in order to give, to serve different market sectors. This, this was just to give you an impression where we AVE can be applied. And it's only an excerpt of my professional life. And I do not see any limit in terms of different products to be analyzed and optimized by the AVE in the future. As a summary, what is the typical outcome of the application of the AVE? First, reduced cost in a range from five to 50%, depending on the degree of freedom, the type of product and the necessity of cost saving. Basically a short payback period for all the efforts. Shorter development time due to perfect communication with all involved departments. Increased quality and function if needed. And a dramatically better communication within the company. Coming to the end of my presentation, I would like to draw some conclusions. I strongly believe that the ABE was, is and will be a powerful tool for the manufacturing industry. Even in Europe, manufacturing will stay important. Companies face more and more pressure due to global competition, shorter product life cycles, digitalization of products, and in general, and faster changes in societies with the impact on the manufactured products. The AVE can help to defeat all the perils mentioned before, but has to adapt on future challenges and service as a growing sector, software and digitalization has to be covered with the AVE as well. So that's it from my side. I'm very grateful for your kind attendance and looking forward on a discussion. In case that time is up, please do not hesitate to contact me. Here are my contact data. Thank you so much. Take care, stay healthy and warm greetings from Germany. Bye-bye.